go ahead and get our butter in here. Tash is here to do a taste test. They are making breakfast and the objective is to make biscuits without baking powder. Without baking soda. Can I pull this off, y'all? Uh, let's find out, because I'm trying to make biscuits and gravy this morning for the kiddos before school. Something is interesting I found out is that when it comes to using your flour and you're measuring it out, right? Make sure to not like pack it in it's because your measurements will be off. And a chef told me this. So I was just like, what? So this is half a cup. What I did was I just went ahead and just did it like that. Cool fact is for every cup of flour, there's one and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. So if you got self rising, there's no need to add the baking uh, powder, which is cool. For every four ounces of salted butter, there's a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So if you're watching your salt intake, just keep that in mind so you don't overdo the salt. This is just a safe way to do it. So I'm cutting the butter because it's obviously gonna be cut into the flour. Now this part I think is gonna blow everyone's mind. I don't have buttermilk, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a cup of milk in here. And there's a reason why it's in this cup, right? And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon amount of lemon. Kendrick, Kendrick's all turned up, y'all. And look, so let's go ahead and mix that in. And when I mix this in, I'm gonna just let this mixture of a little bit of lemon juice and milk sit. And this will give that sour effect of buttermilk. Comment down below if you're a fan of buttermilk. Ooh, we let's go ahead and get our butter in here, y'all, to go in throughout every single morsel. lemon to your milk it has to sit for like 15 minutes you see it bubbling up if you don't have lemon you can use a tablespoon of white vinegar by the way so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my biscuit mixture mix it right but don't don't mix it no more than like 15 times you want it to be lumpy you see what I'm saying this oven has been preheating on 450 degrees yes I said it 450 I'm just going to have to spray this foil. All right, let's go ahead and spoon on the biscuits just like that. Oh, if I can get it off. As you can see, it does not have to be perfect how you spoon them on there. But it's in there. Go ahead and close this up. Lordy, if I It's going to go for 16 minutes at 450 in cash. He's going to try my biscuits. Now it's time to make his gravy. First, I'm going to just go ahead and cook my sausage. And I'm going to cook it long enough until all the grease comes out of it. And then I'm going to break it up. You ain't got to be fancy. You can use these sausages too. The little cheap ones from the dollar store. I'm going to add them in. So you got some sausage cooked like up you there. that sausage. And then here's my pan. I had to take it off the stove, y'all. Because there it goes. The alarm. Oh, my God. The alarm went off like 10 times today. Because our system is very, very sensitive. So, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and get butter in this pan. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and melt that a little bit. And I'm using some of the drippage and the pieces of meat in there, of course. Like, we're gonna just go as we go, what we need. And then this is gonna be the roux for the base of the gravy, for sure. Cook up a little bit. You'll see it starting to loosen up. That's what you want. Look like it's gonna end up being like brown gravy, but I promise it's not, cause I gotta add milk. Got 
got to add a lot more milk. And then even if you add too much milk, it'll thicken up, you know. Biscuits here looking pretty decent. Of course, they're not like super risen, but they taste amazing. So, there is the gravy biscuits and gravy looking good, y'all. Oh my goodness! Oh, remind me of childhood. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, just serving it for everybody. Cash is here to do a taste test of. This southern biscuits and gravy. This is a southern dish, Cash. I grew up eating it, and I really, really want you to try this out, man. Because you're a critic, and everybody in the fire squad knows, and if you're new here, Cash is a little too honest. He'll tell you if it's good or not. You gotta get some of the biscuit, too. Yeah, like that. There you go. Blow it good, too. You look handsome, by the way, man. Look very handsome. Oh, somebody gave me a thumbs up already. Southern biscuits and gravy with sausages. What's your rating, Cash? I'm still eating. You're still eating? <laughs> he said, I'm still eating. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? What the world? All right, man. Do I get a, a high five for making a good din uh, breakfast? All right. It's something different, right? All right, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You heard it here for Hearst from Cash, and Cash is a very serious critic. So if he likes it, you'll like it.